For some time now, Artillery has established a position in the consumer 3D market by offering some of the best mid-range domestic 3D printers at affordable prices. With continuous innovation in 3D printing, they hope their new model will capture your attention. This is the Artillery Slidewinder X2. While there may not be any major modifications from its predecessor, the team has retained what worked and removed what didn't. The Slidewinder X2 is packed with impressive features such as Touch Pro bed levelling and a 32-bit mainboard. It's great to just see printers now coming with these add-ons right out of the box. With that said, let's open it up and get it up and running. The Slidewinder X2 is composed of two main pieces, the base and gantry. This actually simplifies the building process. The extruder and cables are already pre-assembled, so all that is left to do is connect the frame and fasten it with four bolts. So I'm going to simply align the XZ gantry to the base and make sure the connector is perfectly aligned to the female connector on the base itself. The screws used to fasten the XZ gantry to the base are pre-inserted into the extrusion. You just need to use the Allen key provided to tighten them in place. We can then assemble the spool holder and then slide it into the slots on the top of the beam. Then use the fitting supply to fix it into place. Now we're going to connect the Z-stepper motors and filament runout sensor. Very easy to do and impossible to mess up. And just like that we've built it, a very easy building process for such a large printer. It's great to see that automatic bed levelling is becoming more common. And even better that the Artillery Slidewinder X2 now includes this feature itself. The printer uses a touch probe to scan the bed at multiple points, adjusting the Z-axis offset to ensure the nozzle is always at the right distance from the bed. In my experience, the bed levelling sensor worked seamlessly, responding quickly and requiring minimum effort to achieve accurate results. So with that said, it is quite a good piece of kit for beginners. With its 300 by 300 by 400 mm build volume, the Slidewinder X2 offers a wide range of possibilities for larger printing projects. This makes it ideal for creating items such as helmets, cosplay armour and other pieces that would just simply not fit on a standard printer. The maximum temperature that the print surface can reach is 130 degrees. Now that allows for safe use of materials like ABS. As this is AC powered, the print bed is a safer option as the wires do not need to carry as many amps as with a DC print bed, which does reduce the risk of overheating. In my opinion, the X2 has only one disadvantage. Its print bed cannot be removed. The glass bed is attached to the heating element, so you have to be extremely cautious when taking out prints. If the bed gets damaged or needs to be replaced, it could prove to be an expensive task. One of the X2's most helpful features is its filament sensor and power loss detection. The sensor is mounted on the spool holder and can detect when the 3D printer runs out of filament or if the filament is brittle and breaks. If this happens, the printer will automatically pause the print and once the filament or spoil is replaced, you can easily resume the print from where it left off. This feature not only offers peace of mind, but also prevents filament waste in the long run. Also, if you find the power to the X2 gets interrupted or there's a power outage, you don't really need to worry. The power loss detection feature ensures that your printer resumes the print from where it stopped once the power is restored. This feature is especially important for large 3D printers like this, as it helps avoid you ruining your big print in case of power loss or when you run out of filament during a possible two-day print. I'm actually quite thankful that this device operates quite quietly. It does not have any disruptive stepper motors, loud fans or coil wine, therefore it shouldn't disturb your focus or sleep if you need to use it in the same room. It does feature a touchscreen for all its operation. While the user face on the touchscreen may not be perfect, it is easy to understand and can be mastered within a few hours of use. The X2 printer offers two primary printing methods, USB and microSD. While some users may prefer 
offer a Wi-Fi option, these two methods are sufficient for most. The X2 pushed out some prints that were really quite impressive. High detail, no falls in layers, and most importantly, it delivered them swiftly. Smaller models, especially really detailed ones like this model here, show just how much detail the X2 can capture. There's no doubt that the X2 is a very tall 3D printer. Unfortunately, the aluminium Z carriages don't seem to have improved much in the way of Z wobble. There are mods popping up to improve the stability and wobble from the community, but it would have been nice to have this out of the box. In terms of printing tool objects, the Slidewinder X2 can produce impressive results as long as it doesn't need to execute quick changes in the speed and direction towards the top of the print. So if you have a basic structure like this, it really shouldn't struggle. However, if there are high acceleration points in the upper section, the unsupported gantry may become unstable and cause you some problems in the long run. However, like I said, this could be fixed with mods in time. Overall though, I'm quite satisfied with the results of this 3D print. Even though there may be some problems with the Z wobble, the Artillery Slidewinder X2 is capable of producing highly detailed prints. If you're looking for a printer with useful features and a bigger build volume than most options on the market, but on a tight budget, the X-Winder X2 could be an excellent choice. With its quick heating bed and ultra quiet stepper driver modules, you're getting a device for far beyond the asking price. The durable print surface and Titan Direct Drive Extruder are also great if you're interested in 3D printing with flexible materials. For the best results though, I will recommend that you do some upgrades, maybe install a DIY solution to reinforce that frame, but with a library of consumers offering up solutions on the daily, I really don't think it will be too difficult to do. With that said, if you're looking for a 3D printer with a large surface area to work with and the many smart features I've mentioned, the X2 is a steal. Be sure to check out this product in the link in the description. Let me know what you think. Till next time.